welcome back to golden finds daniel your host here and we are thrifting this weekend as always you guys know what the plan is so we are going to hit up our orange county goodwills and see what we find in today's session now let's see what golden finds we come across today because as you guys know i am thrifting for a lot of things right now things for my patio things for my home you know just radon if i see it and it's a good find then it's definitely coming home so let's go and see what all is waiting for us what treasures right if you're new to my channel welcome you guys and for all of you who have returned for this video session thank you so much as always you guys for the support it really means a lot like so much so thank you thank you thank you to all of you guys who have recently subscribed so let's go ahead and check what we find out today at the orange county goodwill stores here in southern california so I always start at the Brea location here in California. For those of you who are from Southern California, I always visit this store. It's the very first one that I make it to because I drop off my little Goldie girl at my parents' house. And then this is the very first one at our stop. So let's see what we come across. Hello everyone and welcome back to another thrifting session here at Golden Finds. Daniel, your host, and I'm excited to have you guys come along as we journey through various Orange County Goodwill stores here in Southern California. So we are starting off in this Brea store location and there are so many things to browse at. So make sure you guys stay tuned to see what makes it at the end of this video and what I brought home ultimately from all of my thrifting trips during this weekend thrifting session. Let's go ahead and start and see what we come across and see all of the golden finds that we may find today. So there was a lot of vintage pieces, which I absolutely love browsing at. Every time I step into an Orange County Goodwill store, I can stay for hours at and just looking at everything in all of the knickknacks section i will have to say that the knickknack section is one of my favorite parts of the orange county goodwill stores because they are always filled with so many things and they're overflowing with little things knickknacks cute items vintage pieces just so many things to look at and browse and it makes it ultra fun and i just really enjoy my time taking all of it in i just love it so i hope that you you guys enjoy this walkthrough and I will see you guys in just a bit. I really love when I come across a Starbucks piece. This Vancouver Starbucks You Are Here collection mug is really nice. It is in great condition, no chips or breaks, and it was really nice for the price at $3.99. I really do love looking at all of their mugs. I find so many different brands like this Anthropology one, which was a collaboration with Starla Hoffman at only $1.99. That is definitely a great price, and these do very well when I resell them in my shops. So 
I always love, love, love looking at all of the mugs. I find a lot of Ray Dunn as well. I woke up like this. This is a older mug from the Ray Dunn collection, and this was $3.99. You also find some very whimsical pieces like this one, which I absolutely loved. This was Grimace from Ronald McDonald, and this is a collectible cup, and that was only at $0.99. Cents. <laughs> Candles are also something that I absolutely love to thrift for. Look at this very large pillar candle, $5.99. It is actually a Pottery Barn piece. And I found some Bath & Body Works store. These are also one of my most favorite finds when I come across them at the thrift store. These were also fun and whimsical for the holiday season for Thanksgiving or fall. I really loved all of the decoupage uh, images on the sides of these candles. This one was really cute and I love that they were almost like of can art, almost vintage like. They were very interesting and nice to see. Another item that I really love to find or items that I love to come across are holiday decor like this very interesting pumpkin it was almost like if it was the tropical pumpkin in other words um, <laughs> i want to say it almost looked like a tropical pumpkin right it was very cute and i love the style and the material that it was made out of i thought that was a very interesting piece and also i love finding pieces to add to my farmhouse look this milk jug was very nice it was actually beautiful in its color and i love the back image it had a wagon with a tree and at four dollars and 99 cents that is a very spectacular piece <music> This 1980s Winter Olympics Games was absolutely so much fun. This is another favorite thing that I love to come across at the thrift store is finding vintage pieces that commemorate past gone eras. And I just really, really love finding collections and so many things that you just never see anymore. Or again, they bring back memories from a bygone era. So I just love coming across them and you just have such a great time stepping back into time and finding such adoring pieces this was very interesting as well two dollars and 99 cents for this hobbyist halloween mug of a ghost i thought that was really cute i love the big eyes on that mug i also love coming across vintage pieces like these corning wear or pyrex pieces i absolutely love it you guys this was actually a pyrex piece at seven dollars and 99 cents i really really love this color and this part of this collection and it's just ultra fun finding such amazing pieces but holidays i feel are definitely going to always be my favorite find. Thank you. 
also makes this fun is finding other pieces of collections at other stores. So this is actually a different Goodwill store and I found the same exact type of mug that was the Grimace mug, but this one was Ronald McDonald. And I absolutely love when I come across Ray Dunn. It is one of my most favorite things to thrift for and I absolutely love it. Almost 80% of my collection is thrifted from Orange County Goodwill stores. Found this Flitzen Floyd 1988 Halloween mug of the witch for 88 cents you guys are probably going to say daniel why didn't you pick this up because this is not going to be in the hall and i know but i just didn't really i didn't i don't know what it was you guys i just didn't really think about bringing it home but it was nonetheless still a really fun and cute mug for halloween and it was just so cool finding it in store Found this Ray Dunn canister, let's set sail, but unfortunately it was missing the topper. I believe it is a topper of a ship with a sail. So that was still interesting. You can still use this piece in other forms in your home. And I just love it when I come across Ray Dunn. And this beautiful mirror was giving me almost Beauty and the Beast vibes. I really love that it was giving off a Baroque period timepiece. It was just so beautiful. I love the golden accents to it and the arches on the mirror. It was just absolutely beautiful. Found another Ray Dunn mug that has Mischief, a gnome for my gnome lovers. This is all for you. $1.99 for this mug. Absolutely love of love. All of the Ray Dunn finds in this thrifting session. Halloween is also absolutely one of my most favorite things to thrift for and I cannot wait as we get closer to Halloween the thrift stores are going to get such mega hauls into the shelves with all the Halloween goodies so I cannot wait until that time comes. Another thing that I absolutely love to find is anthropology houseware pieces. So this piece right here is absolutely so whimsical and so cute and it's definitely giving me all of the vintage inspired likeness. I really love that this is part of a collaboration with anthropology and i just think this was so cute and whimsical look at the little handle on the top it's so stinking cute but the most mega ultra find of this week was the golden finds of these ray dunn pieces you guys these m stamp studios these are m studio pieces which make them a lot older than what we're used to seeing and i was just super excited at not finding one but two of these canisters the ladybug and the bumblebee again and these are M Studio stamping and I just fell in love with them and I could not believe it. <laughs> As always, I hope that you guys enjoyed this walkthrough. It was definitely a larger one and there are so many goodies. So let's go ahead and see what made it home. Let's see if you guys were able to guess what made it into the cart and back home with me. So let's go ahead and start with candles first. Now, you guys absolutely know that when I find a Bath & Body Works candle, if the price makes sense, then I'm going to pick it up. Sometimes I do splurge a little bit if they're a little bit more expensive. I tend to try and buy them if they're like between $5.99 and below. I have bought in some before that were $7.99. As long as I feel, you know, it's the scent that I like and the price, you know, you're still going to be getting it cheaper than if you were to go to Bath & Body Works. And a lot of the smells that I find, the scents, are no longer ones that 
you know, maybe sold at Bath & Body Works anymore because some of these are, are brand new, but they're older. Like, you can just tell they're older. And so I did pick up the Cherry Frost. This is absolutely beautiful. I love the purple candle. I love the outside of it, how it's all decked out for Christmas. So this was $4.99. And this is the scent. It is Cherry Frost juicy cherry frosted black plum creamy tonka juniper berry with essential oils so this smells so nice i absolutely love the smell you guys i cannot wait to light this up it doesn't have to be christmas but i am going to probably light it up soon because it smells really nice i love it it smells like a very sweet smell but not super pungent sweet it's like a very it's mixed between a sweet, almost like, uh, just not a very, very sweet smell. I can definitely smell the cherry, though. Then I also picked up the Aromatherapy um, Grapefruit and Sage. This smells so good. This is a single wick candle, and this was $3.99 for this one. And this one smells amazing you guys this one's brand new it, was, it hasn't been used at all the cherry frost also is brand new and this one let me see if i can pull this tag really quick but yeah it's so exciting when i find bath and body works candles it's just i love it i absolutely love it and it's so much fun. Um, I haven't been recently finding them as much anymore. They had like a bunch at one point and now they kind of are getting a little bit harder to find. But I still do come across them very well. And then this one, I don't see any other information. I guess it's just really grapefruit and sage. But this is definitely giving off that nice clean smell. And it's so good. I cannot wait. I love the aromatherapy line from Bath & Body Works. I always had, I believe it's like the mint one or the eucalyptus and mint, I think is what it is. And that one helps out so much. I have the spray um, where you place it, like you can put it on your pillow or you can put it into the air or something like that. Just to spritz, kind of like to help you unstress and unwind and I love it. So these are definitely a great buy and I was so happy with them. Now, you guys can see the canisters are gone because I am featuring them finally. So I was so excited when I found these. So these are definitely way older pieces than Ray Dunn that you're normally used to seeing. So these are M Studios. So these are even older than the ones that are M Stamp. So we have M Studios, then we have the M Stamp, which was the Magenta exclusive line, and then we had the Ray Dunn line symbols. So this is definitely older. You guys can see I just pulled back the tag on this one. It still has the original tags from Home Goods, and then we have the Home, uh, the M Studios stamp. So this was originally seven ninety nine. Can you believe that? Their canisters are not that anymore. This is from 2014. You guys can see it here in the Home Goods tag. There is a 2014 year on it. And this is beautiful. It is dimpled all over. Look at all of these beautiful dimples, which I absolutely miss from the line. And this is the Bumblebee. So I just love this. I, I couldn't believe it when I found the found these, you guys. And then I also picked up the Ladybug one. This was $3.99. And the other one was $4.99. And then I just love it. The simplicity, the old Ray Dunn is like truly the best. I just love it. This one also has the Home Goods original tag on it still. Um, the only thing with this one is that it is missing the grip on it, on the lid. So I have to be very, very careful. Uh, but I can't believe it. M Studio Stamping for these Ray Dunn pieces. It cannot get any better than that. Now there is a piece missing to this collection and you guys can also tell that these are way smaller than the ones that are out now. Um, I am missing the Dragonfly, but funny thing is, I actually have that piece. It is much newer. It's not M Stamp, it's not M Studio Stamp. I think it says Ray Dunn, but it might be still an older piece. So I technically have the full set, but 
The sizes in these are very drastically different. So it might look a little bit odd because the Firefly one is the longest, the tallest canister. But even then, these are very small compared to the newer ones that have released. But you guys, I cannot believe it. Like, it really excites me when I find a really good Ray Dunn piece, especially an older piece. I have had so much luck finding older pieces from the collection. And I just, it always blows my mind. And it's super exciting. I also picked up this really cute egg carrier egg tray you guys this is so nice i absolutely loved it i gravitated to it because of its simplicity the fact that it was all in this beautiful white color with just a little bit of dark edges around to give it look like an aged vibe i just loved it this is the kind of stuff that i really love and it's super adorable the little bunny on top and then you would put your deviled eggs all around it and this was three dollars and 99 cents and it is from the brand world market so this piece is absolutely gorgeous don't think I will use it for actually serving food. Um, the bunny is actually crazed. There are some crazy marks, which the camera does not pick up. I didn't even see it until after bringing it home in more closer detail. It's very well hidden. But other than that, I didn't really care. I just thought it would be a really beautiful piece for either all year round or only during the Easter season. And I just absolutely fell in love with it. And it's such a gorgeous piece. Last but not least are two goodies. Now, I, I don't know why, I just really fell in love with this little golden dish. So it is footed. It has small little feet at the bottom. It was only $1.49 and I just loved it. It's, um, it says Katie Tours Candle Stand. Um, not exactly sure what brand this is or if it might've came from something, but I just really fell in love with the simplicity of this gold little dish for your candles. And I just loved it. Now it's too, it's, oh no, actually it is kind of the right size for a actual Bath and Body Works candle. As you guys can see, it just looks really nice. I really fell in love with it because of the neutral feet, the color, the neutral color, the way that it looks very simple. It looks, the edges are not perfect. So I love that it looks almost like a rustic attempt. It just looks very nice. I like it. It's very pretty. And only for $1.49, it's a cute little accessory piece to put somewhere in my home. And then last but not least, you guys know that I absolutely am obsessed always with finding wreaths. So, and I need to stop because I have so many fall wreaths. I just don't understand why I get so obsessed with them. But I did pick up the fall wreath. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. And it has so much life left. I just couldn't believe it. This is a very, very, very nice wreath. There's a lot of different assortments of like greenery pieces, acorns, um, pine cones, berries. There's just so many. There's so much going on here. Eucalyptus picks. There's just so much going on here. And I absolutely fell in love with it. And this thing is gorgeous. I love the colors. It's beautiful. I want to say that this didn't have a price. So I had to ask at the register. I think they gave it to me for $4.99 or $5.99. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've had this to share with you guys. So it was within that price range. But I just fell in love with it. It's just, I love it. I, I have a problem though with wreaths, I will admit. It's just like baskets and everything else, you know, all that good stuff that I love collecting. And it's just, it's another thing that I have on my list of things to, to buy or be on the lookout that I get obsessed over with. But that is the end of the haul, you guys. Thank you so much again for joining me on this thrifting session. As always, I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Make sure to drop down in the comments down below. Is there something from the walkthrough that you would have picked up for yourself that you did not see in the haul? Or which one of my goodies from my haul is your favorite? As always, you guys know that I love and appreciate you so much for taking the time to leave a little comment or just saying a hello, something simple, whatever it is. So that way we have our one-on-one -on -one time. And as always, thank you so much for you guys tuning back in and watching another video here on Golden Finds. So I will leave you with this. This is Daniel from Golden Finds. 
May you be out there searching for your golden finds and that you find them. So head on out there, check your thrift stores, go to your local um, thrift store, go to an estate sale, go to a yard sale, go to a community yard sale, whatever the case may be. Or if you're just looking for stuff at a regular store, go out and seek your treasure because it is out there. So until next time, you guys, I will see you on our next thrifting adventure here in Golden Finds. Thank you.